what's going on guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're playing something kind of weird and apparently lagging shoutouts to servers um we're playing something kind of weird i don't know if we've ever done this before but we're doing cuckoo jungle with a actual like full power build and we're gonna see how it goes we're going like assassin power ability based cuckoo and jungle because the scaling's not the worst in the world it's not great but it's not the worst and i think whenever we've done cuckoo and jungle in the past because i know we've done like one or two videos I think it's always been like hybrid builds or straight up auto attack builds. So I thought it'd be fun to mess around with doing this and see if it feels like it's any good. It's probably not any good, but you know, who knows? Wait, we actually might gank left. I think this is free. I think we just murder her with the cheese gank. I feel a little bit, is she killing herself anyways? Click. She didn't quite kill herself anyways. Damn, that's uh, I can't remember. <laughs> The last time we did that, I feel like... God, I'm trying to think, was that pre-season 8? No, because at some point that was a thing a little bit where you could cheese gank the soul in. I don't know, I feel like something happened. I can't remember what it is now. I think it's the jungle start switch. I feel like something happened where that's like not really a thing anymore. But actually worth, actually, actually good time to gank. Duo die to a gank, so that sucks. But I feel like they could have just like retreated. So <laughs> I think that was still a good gank for us. Could have just not gotten ganked, forehead. You good? Damn, Cabran can actually live somehow. I really want to kill the Athena. I feel like it's pretty unlikely we get to, but we're going to try. Hello. Yeah, we got a lot of boys here still. We got a lot of boys here still. You might want to chill a bit. Here, we'll try and body block autos a little bit. Do I want to fight them a bit because I'm close to rage? But we have to actually pull them together for the rage. We have to calculate a big brain bait. Which didn't really work. I thought it would work. It did not work. <laughs> I wanted to I wanted to go in hard there, but we definitely kill ourselves if we actually went in hard and jumped on him. I think we get rage, but we die before we rage, so maybe not so worth. Unfortunate, man. Yeah, Kakolan Jungle, it's been forever, so hopefully we don't play it too shit. I definitely play Kakolan and stuff. I feel like Kakolan himself, not a hard character to play, but Cuckoo in the jungle is kinda weird. It's definitely not the most meta thing. It's definitely not the best thing. But, uh... But I actually have a lot of fun with it when we played in the past. Alright, I think we'll try and farm up while we're at it. Try and get our Crusher done. Man, I wanted my stupid Berserk one. But we'll try and get our Crusher done all in one back if we can. Should be pretty nutty. The idea, I think, is pretty obvious. Um, and we maybe built Crusher in the past on him as well, but basically any of those like Heart Seeker slash Crusher type items hypothetically are actually really good on Kekolan because he's all damaging abilities. Even his two is a damaging ability. And when you're popping the, uh, the, the what's essentially the two in your Berserk form, the one that auto procs is from being Berserk, it actually counts. So we get tons of different little Crusher procs, tons of little Heart Seeker procs from all of our abilities. And so if we stack that on top of like an actual damage build, I think we should definitely feel it, man. It should be kind of nutty. I think we're also going to go Hydras, but I don't know. I don't know how good the Hydras is going to be. And I think we'll build that later just in case it feels like we don't need it. Because auto canceling on Kekolan's not that much of a thing. It's kind of a thing. But if we try and rely on it for getting kills, I don't know how it's going to go. We'll have to see. And we actually, one of the things that's kind of awkward right here, we don't have Vent or anything. So we have to probably not do this camp and go straight right lane so we can try and hold on to Rage. No problem. Nah, no problem, boys. Big bait. Nope. Go in. Go in, we frag. Thank you. <laughs> they didn't really go in, but <laughs> but uh, but Morgan went in, and we'll take that as well. Oh, she didn't dash. I thought she dashed before. Fuck. Did she blink? I'm actually confused. Maybe she just zooms. I don't know. We're going to go peak camp. See what's up. Give me this. <laughs> you are a fucking trash. Thanks, man. Every once in a while, I, uh, dude, you get the people that BM and they're really bad at BMing. And they only do it when you clap them. It's really funny. <laughs> like, I think it's normally like partially communication barrier thing, but it's like, you are, you are a bad. You, you did a not good killing me. That shit kills me, man. It's not that common, but when I get it, it's too funny. By the way, one thing that's kind of sick, I feel like, for Kakolan in the jungle, um, not having mana 
and not needing Bumbas to sustain mana actually feels pretty amazing. As long as you can keep your health up with, I think Mannequins is probably the play. It's not the best for a clear, but the thing, the big downside to having no Bumbas or having Mannequins with like ability-based characters is normally you run out of mana because you don't have Bumbas to stand and you have to auto, auto the camps. But on Kakolan, as long as we're not taking too much health damage, we can just burn whatever we want. It doesn't matter, which is kind of sick, man. All right, let's yoink more camps. Yeah, like we really don't have to worry about getting our mannequin frocks right here because we're full HP and we don't need the mana back. All right, we might gank move on. We don't have rage, obviously, because we literally just used it. But we might get to see if we can do anything. Move on. She's too blue. Where the hell did you go? I think she's still on blue, man. I actually could have invaded, I'm pretty sure. I assumed I assumed Athena was there, but I think I was wrong. All right, give me this. Okay, I think we're going to go straight into Heartseeker. So it's basically going to be, I think this is what we did in the Arthur video, right? I, uh, is it? Is there some game I did this on? I don't know. I think I did this in some game recently. Now I'm forgetting if it was even a video or not. Maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's a game that got F-stick because I'm not even uploading it. But yeah, I think we're going to go straight into the Heartseeker. And we're going to try and go for all the bonus damage we can possibly get early game. Boys, I'm coming! As long as we can stack enough people and ult, we get rage here. Oh, it's easy. Am I a trash? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a trash. <laughs> Dude, I really hope she DMs me again. I really hope she DMs me again. Yeah, that always kills me, man. Like, what goes through your head to BM somebody for killing you? You know? Thank God, man. My Tash took so long to go off. I didn't think... We okay, that's a billion block stacks. We got those down. Ooh, AMC stuck around, huh? Where the hell was he? I heard him put down a hive. Uh, I have... Okay, she's good. Yeah, I have nothing, but I, I thought he was going to go hard, so I was going to rotate. Might get Athena ganked? Yep. Yeah, okay. I have, like, nothing for this, but we'll try and see if we can help. Oh, I think he missed the AMC ult. This actually might be big. Oh, that was so big. We got so much rage off that. Let's go, baby. Oh, and we get those OP Kakolan autos that reach farther than it looks like they should. Which actually got us the kill for that exact reason. That's pretty sick. I think we're going to get Vent real quick here. Normally in the solo lane, Vent's not worth. But we're going to get Vent a little bit early since we're in the jungle. Because we actually want to time our rage a lot more. For the most part in solo, you just kind of make it work. But it doesn't really translate as well in the jungle. And this is going insanely well so far. I'm actually surprised. I think part of it's just luck. They keep going for these fights where they're pretty grouped together. And so we just get to go in and get big ults. And then if we get big ults, we pretty much automatically win fights because Golan ult's insane. This is post nerf, by the way. He got nerfed recently since he's been one of the top soul lanes for a while. Okay, we get a barely hold on to rage. Um, I might have to, I think we're going to big brain wait to do the camp so that we can vent it. There we go. I think that was a big play. All right. So yeah, we got Crusher damage. We got Heart Seeker damage. And uh, I guess that's that's pretty much all of what we can possibly do for like ability cheese. We could go Glad Shield, but it wouldn't make any sense since it's based off protections. But we are going to be going a, uh, a Hidden Blade a little bit later on, which I think will be fun. I don't know how much it's going to do for us on Kakolan, but I think it'll at least do a bit. All right, please. Yeah, please clear for me. I don't want to rage. I don't want to rage. Oh my god, you guys take forever. <laughs> I hate it when people don't insta-clear, man. Just press your buttons. Where is this AMC at? Found him. And I think he found me. What the? Come here. Come here. Oh, late beads. Please tell me we didn't get the ult off. Wow. Super unfortunate that we did not get that ult. Oh, that was a waste. 
I figured she would, you know, like, uh, dash sooner. And she didn't. So I was trying to pre-pop the ult. I was trying to, I was trying to big brain immune the slow. And instead I just kind of potatoed and made it harder on myself. We're fine. Oh, okay. It's not even up. Damn, that was actually, uh, that was kind of painful. That did not go nearly as well as I thought it would. I think the really, the only big thing was just Athena ult came in super clutch because we didn't have immediate rage, but oh my god, man, that was tough. Can I see how much we did to AMC? Not really. We got, <laughs> we got so much crusher value though, man. Oh my god. That was pre-transform too. We got 100 off of crusher. I guess we got one transform, but I don't think any of that counted because I think we killed him. The moment we transformed, we killed him, right? With our one or whatever. So that's kind of gross. I mean, this guy's got 1,200 health. So we did like 8% of his health with just the Crusher passive. <laughs> and that should actually, I'm pretty sure that should go up as the game goes on. Because we're going to scale for one thing. And then we're also going to, like, as we get later in the game, we'll probably be using more abilities per person. And so we're going to be getting more Crusher procs. That's sick, man. I actually love that. All right. I think we probably go serrated. Do we just go the high? Maybe we just go the hydras already. Why not? Serrated should be insanely good on us as Kakolin. It's sort of an auto attack item. It's not quite as ability based, but for the most part, Serrated is just better Titan's Bane. So even though it's kind of an auto attack item, we're not really trying to use it for that. But yeah, I think we go. I think we go hydras for now. They're not too tanky or anything. We probably want to go avoid at some point. Do we? I don't know. Maybe we don't. Yeah, I'm already seeing the Benevolent strat that they pulled out in SPL today. That's funny. Panda Cat literally pulled out Benevolence, I guess on both ADCs, but, it, but like including Benevolence AMC. And we already have a Benevolence AMC like a couple hours later. Okay, well the boys are probably rotating. But I think we just get to clap them. No, 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 you, you don't gotta run. Okay, we're gonna CC immune. We're gonna try to not face tank the Athena ult. Oh, that doesn't reach? Oh no, that's unfortunate. I thought our one would hit her. I'm really surprised it didn't. See, if we can kill these stupid minions, I can blink in a sec. Damn it, man. I fucked it up. Okay, there we go. I guess that's all we get to do. I kind of played that like shit, but we made it work. <laughs> I, uh, I thought we'd be in range to hit Morrigan with our one. I'm really, or not Morrigan, but Morrigan with our one. I'm really surprised we didn't. I honestly still thought she was in range, but I don't know. Can I greed this? No, she's dipping. We'll greed this though. Give me that blue buff. All right, I think we'll farm up for Hydras while we're at it. I'm actually, how are we eight? No, man. We are going full damage Kakolin. I'm playing greedy as hell. I'm really surprised that we're not dying more. I think I'm mostly playing well. I think I, I played the last fight bad, but other than that, I think we're playing well. But it's kind of crazy that it's going this well. It is probably going to fall off late game, even though even though we are full committing to a uh, to a stupid damage build late game. Like, I think we'll fall off pretty hard just because our scaling's not all there and Kakolin takes a decent amount of time to pop all his stuff. Rip, we're going to we're going to rage. And it's okay. So we got to see if these Hydra's autos are fat. One thing where Hydra's will actually be sick is uh, in our rage stance, it should be extra good. Oh, by the way. Oh, wait. Oh, Hydra's. Ooh, I did not notice that was a thing. I uh, I didn't notice our hit progression's worse. Okay, this is really bad on normal stance, and it's technically slightly better on rage stance. Because we get 1.05 power on our rage stance, but 0.7 on our... Uh, our normal stance, which is honestly kind of okay because our auto cancels already suck on our normal stance. It's more of a rage thing. What's up, Athena? Oh, can you not? No dashing. No dashing. Is he actually going to run over here? Ironically, he got himself in more trouble by running by running deeper. <laughs> if he just stayed at tower, he would have been fine. Yeah, I'm not tanky, but fuck it. Okay, we eat like one shot. We're fine. Cab going hard, my man. Let's get it. Okay, they got deleted. 
Dude, I can't hit these to save my life right now. Oh my god. Give me this wave. That was just for mental damage. Can I stop having to deal with these? <laughs> yeah, I want to do, uh, you know, go for a little, a little ca casual BM on the Morrigan. Worked out pretty well. Yeah, I'm running from that. Fuck that. I am not having this one, poise. You know, if I could do actually anything without just killing myself, maybe we'd help. Oh, gimme. Alright, they might do gold off that, which kind of sucks. Might have been a little bit greedy for us to be diving past T2 for so long. A little bit. God, what do we go? We're so ahead, I kind of want to go Blood Forge, but I don't know if that's the play. They've got, I think we need to start get, getting pen done. Well, actually, Soul Eater could be good. This is such a weird build. But Soul Eater actually makes sense. And it's kind of one where in a way we don't want Soul Eater early game because it, it interferes with us doing more damage. But as we get later in the game and do more AOE, I don't know, is it worth though? We definitely get a lot of healing, but a lot of the time we're initiating full HP. So we're not even getting the healing. So maybe it's bad. Otherwise, I think it'd be nuts. Because you can get so much out of it with, like, both of our ultimates. Alright, let's see if we can gank. Help the man out a bit. There's a billion people. There is there literally a whole team here? Okay, I'm going a little Chad. But so far, so good. And that's actually a massive value can- Can I please ever cast my ability? <laughs> I got a massive value cancel right there. By, uh, by somebody. Somebody interrupted my one and it just kind of, like, gave me the cooldown back. So thank you. Oh, goodbye. Damn, that was, uh, that was disgusting, man. We just popped in in 2v4 with Cab. <laughs> it wasn't even close. They got wrecked. Alright, give me this tower. We earned it. If this was a spur of the moment video, I was just like, oh, Kakolan Jungle would be fun. Let's record it. Why not? I didn't expect it to go like this. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it'd just be a fun random little thing we could do. Can somebody report that guy? I miss stuff like this, man. I, I love some of this stuff so much. I feel like... I think it's probably just stuff to my taste. I feel like I don't very often like playing warrior jungles, but there's a few warriors that you can kind of manage to make work, and it's so much fun. And Kakolan's absolutely one of them. Where it, like, really mixes up his play style. I mean, I don't know, maybe not his play style, but, like, his feel. We definitely still do the same thing, but we hit way harder and we're way more squishy. Which, on some characters, feels terrible, but on some feels fun. And Kakolan's one of the fun ones. Like, I think if Osiris was more fun to play, I'd feel the same way with Osiris. Because I've been playing him jungle some, but he's more so just, like, good and not as much fun. Nice, we actually got good rage, too. Alright, let's go get Serrated done. We can actually get uh, Hidden Blade done soon, which should be pretty sick. Yeah, I do swing pretty hard. We swing real hard. <laughs> Honestly, I might sell this Hydras later, man. I really don't think Hydras does too much. Ooh, I want him. I want him so bad. You got boys? Okay, he got, he's got ult. <laughs> that was probably a good ult, but oh my god, man. Just jumping at him. He's just shitting his pants. I think we do gold, if the boys are down. I might actually, uh, oh, never mind. I guess the Medusa's starting it up. We'll just do it. I was going to go for a gank on AMC. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, why is, dude, Osiris keeps running, man. He's actually getting massive baits and he doesn't even realize it, which I think is really funny. If he, if he doesn't run and keeps letting them 1v5, we get in there and kill everybody. Although maybe we just do it right here. Or maybe we don't. 
Or maybe we do. <laughs> we kind of got to wait it out. Got to wait on some cooldowns. All right, come here. Okay, I probably should have beat that. Oh, not even close, baby. Give me that level 20. Yeah, the fight didn't go quite as well as I wanted. I think uh, I think we need cooldown right now. Because in that fight we got in, we did a ton of work, we ran out of cooldowns, and we could either walk back in with autos and die, or we could wait it out. And then while we waited out, the fight got a little bit bad. Okay, we're gonna back before I get clapped. <laughs> Medusa's doing Scorp, that's a ballsy play. Your right tower Give me this. I'm really curious how nutty the Hidden Blade's going to be, though. Because we're going to be blink ulting in so often. If they hit us, we'll be kind of screwed. But I think it might actually get pretty good value. It will be kind of weird. I think a lot of the time we're doing AoE damage, so it'll actually be hard to, like, specifically hit one person with it. I actually wonder, if we're in Rage Stance, if we intentionally, like, give ourselves Rage Stance, we might just be able to pick somebody with Hidden Blade. Or I can, like, blink dash on them and they just die. Okay, can we get a Morgan in mid? Eh, I don't really want Athena. Come on, where you at? Where you at? Little baby camera peeks. What the? How did you get there? Oh my! Got easy ults, baby. <laughs> Morgan Athena ults. So easy! How am I getting... How did I rage just now? I've just been sitting here being a good boy and somehow it gives me that like one or two extra energy in procs. So random. Oh, this is just killer. Somebody? No? Damn, I don't know. I don't know why we didn't just kill Morgan right there. Dead. <laughs> she just sat there and ate it. <laughs> dead okay let's get some more dead oh you guys are being greedy over here god damn oh and you too amc oh damn i actually got chonked oh nice cancel let's go dead yeah we do a little bit of damage just just a little bit Oh my god, do I actually get a... We have creeps kind of soon. I don't know if we get this or not. If cab tanks, it helps. Aw, oh, man. That reset might have... I guess we're good. Morgan can slap it down. Oh, she ulted that, huh? Okay, we gotta be a little bit careful about getting ganked. Yoink. <laughs> She's still chasing. Uh, here, let's get rage real fast. There we go. God damn it, man. <laughs> let's go. I think we actually played that super big brain, man. I think, uh, I think hitting mid camps got us the kill. All right, what are we building last item? Am I going Blood Forge? I can't remember if there's another item we want to build. Oh, I guess I could go cooldown. Right now we have 10%. Yeah, we probably do go cooldown. Although, I don't know. I mean, we're slapping so hard anyways. Yeah, we probably do. I don't know. We probably do. It's probably way better than Blood Forge, actually. <laughs> Blood Forge. I want to go Blood Forge because it's Mimi and we're 15 and 0. But, yeah, realistically, this seems way better. And we can get Red Pot? Oh my god, we get full cooldown now. That's huge. This actually, this might be nuts, man. 6.6 .6 seconds on the one is going to be filthy. We should actually be able to fight way better. I'm so squishy, man. This build is so insanely risky. 
But obviously we haven't died, so 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 far it's paying off. I don't know if we get to do this without our ADC, but they're not here. God, the hidden blade on FG is so gross. You just walk in and do a big chunk of health. Nice. Alright, can I get a Morgan? Where's she at? I kind of want the Athena too, but I don't think we get to kill her. This could be a little bit greedy, because we're basically 4v5 until Medusa gets back. Osiris is like 1v5, but, <laughs> but I think we get a gank. Okay, I think we got three or four. Whoop. I didn't beads in time. I had to pre-beads that. Man. I can't even go in because I don't want it to hit me. Hopefully they're not dead. They uh they went really deep right there. And it was kinda hard to follow them. Yeah, we went way too deep. God damn it, man. That was actually such a good start to the fight, but we just couldn't chase. I needed a if I had a better beads, I think we could have won that fight. But when we goof right now, it kinda shows. That's okay, that's not too big of a deal. It does suck a little bit though. Damn it, man, come here. Whoops. Okay, that was almost big throws. I, uh, I did not think he would run into the jungle. And then I thought if he did Medusa would be there. But we managed, it's fine. We, we got ult for it, not too bad. Or we used ult for it. That's disgusting, man. We actually hit him so insanely hard right there. Oh, fuck. Okay, I don't have, like, any... Okay. <laughs> Is there an ally missing command? Oh my god, it got so deleted. Oh, Morgan. Damn it, man, there's a Ganesh close, though. I want to clap her. We don't have ult or anything, and we don't have beads. So I don't know how we clap her, but I really want to. If we get enough boys, we can probably dive this. Oh, sorry. Sucks that Blink's not up yet, though. Yeah, I think once Cab gets here, I think we can dive it. It's greedy as hell. I think I'm the only one with FG right now. No, no, no. We don't need a Medusa. Big dick. This isn't throws. FG's not up soon. It's fine. Okay, okay that was throws. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe we don't dive. I don't know what that was, but I'm going to assume the man was lagging. I'm going to give him benefit. Excuse me. Come here. Oh, man. I fucked up. I fucked that up, but we actually got away with it. I don't even remember what I fucked up now. I fucked something up. We, we mostly played it well. I only messed up a little bit. And Medusa actually gets mid here. I'm pretty sure. Right? Right? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh my god, am I alive? Boys! No, he got the auto. He entered for it. It's fine. How is Athena alive? How did she get out of that? Yeah, I did not expect when we jumped on uh, AMC's face, I did not expect the Athena ult. Oh my god, I can't believe we lived as long as we did. I think we went off that though. As long as they don't stack for fat Athena 3, we should win. Oh my god, it's actually close. Oh my god, it's close. Tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it. No, you reset it, Medusa, you threw. <laughs> no, man. 
Oh, if she just, if she didn't reset it and she still popped the two, I think she wins. Oh, no. It's probably fine. It probably doesn't matter too much. Let's see, do we just full commit? I think we just full commit. It would be so much smarter to go Elixir Def- Oh, we don't have the money. Yeah, give me that pyro, baby. Um, it'd be so much smarter to go Elixir Defense here. But... Uh... Yeah, no, we're just not. We've died once. That one time we just kind of unlucky. I think I think we keep full committing to the damage, even though it's a little over the top. It's a little bit unnecessary. Damn, did you guys know the basic attack cap is 10,000? When was the last time you saw somebody not even crit and just straight up auto you for 10,000? Why, why is this the cap? I don't know, maybe it makes sense. Maybe they just want to make it like a 10 number and 1,000 would hypothetically maybe be too low somehow. All right, I think we just do fire. Wait, are they doing fire? What the hell's going on over here? I'm dead. Oh my God. Why are they on FG? <laughs> That's actually so, wow. I did not expect that. That actually sucks. We didn't have beads or anything. That's too bad, man. I was super close to uh, to ulting out too because I was going to ult immune the horrific and we almost ult immune the... Uh, the reach. We actually, did we get taunted out of ult? I think we might have. Like, out of the animation. Oh my god, do we lose this? Medusa, make big plays. Damn. Yeah, that's, uh, wow. That went so bad. We really can't be getting picked right now. It's going to be hard not to because our build is this, but <laughs> but we need to not. So I'm assuming they get FG. They don't have AMC. They have two tanks. Oh, they, they didn't go for it. Oh, wow. We're actually fine. They got straight up nothing off that. They just bought a little bit of time. If they do it again, we can just backdoor. But I do feel a little bit scum if we go for the back door. It's, it's probably not what we should do. <laughs> Maybe in a rank that would be the play. Don't let me be surprised. What? Be dead. Damn, I want to go on her so bad, but we have no boys. And uh, I have no clue how many people are over there. But I really want to just try and like delete her real quick. Maybe we just do it. Your team has destroyed a right oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now can I get called trash again? Because I pressed three buttons and you're probably mad about it. <laughs> that was so greedy, by the way. Because if, uh, if she had Aegis or anything, or if she sustained through with ult and we didn't one-shot her right there, then we probably get shit on. We had to go for the BM value plays. And we probably don't get one shot, but like if anybody rotated, we'd probably die. I think we get a win off of this. Especially if Mulan does this. What the hell? <laughs> Mulan? <laughs> what was that, man? Get in there, cab, tank some shit. Thank it with your face. All right, this should be just dead B. Oh, I did kind of fuck it up though. Oh, what an ult, man. Good job. That was such a fat ult. I don't know if we get to end here. Oh! Oh my God, it did. We just hide her for like 800. I don't think we can fight him. I can try and lifesteal a bit. Because we do have uh, serrated. Actually, I guess if we lifesteal enough, we might be okay. Mulan spawns soon. If we can fight him on creeps, we can rage. Although, I don't think we get to fight him on creeps. I also got to not let him auto me. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. 
Unfortunate, man. I was hoping we could get good timing with the minion spawn and get him to push out. Yeah, let's not get picked. Oh, that hits her. I wasn't even, I wasn't even trying, but we take those. Uh, I'm gonna not be greedy. I really want the speed. It's okay. But we do take this. Damn it, man. We just like, we're just back to where we started. It's so hard to win this game right now. I guess we might as well do Pyro while we're here. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, we hit so hard. I love Hidden Blade, man. It's it's so much fun. What's crazy is it's not even that good. It's just so fun. Because it takes so much to proc Hidden Blade. It's so reliant on us not getting hit or doing damage for a long time and then popping it. Which, on a lot of characters, is really hard to do. On almost any character, it's really hard to do. Unless you're like a mage, and obviously you can't buy it on a mage. Yeah, imagine Thoth with Hidden Blade. Oh my god, that would be so disgusting. Well, I mean, I guess you could go Hidden Blade. It wouldn't, it wouldn't work well. Like, you can buy it on a mage, but it doesn't scale well. Uh, is this just dead Ganesh? Okay, we got the Athena ult. Okay. So far, everyone's splitting really well. Hopefully, we don't get deleted here. Okay, we got very deleted. What the hell, man? I did not expect that. That was so bad. I did not expect to take, like, 1.3k in a second from Athena. Oh, but Cap got a big pick, boys! Oh, no, it might not be enough. Yeah, they need kills. I don't think they can end. And they keep reset. <laughs> Stop resetting it, boys. You're throwing. <laughs> they keep doing damage to Titan and then resetting it so that it like, has no value. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. He's hungry. You got Moxie, kid. I'll give you that one. Just like my hopes and dreams, they're all dead. <laughs> over and over again, man. I feel like it's happened two to three times this game. It's no help if the class is not empty. Alright, can we make some big dick plays? No beads? No FG? Him. So I gotta watch out for the Athena damage. I haven't had to worry about her. But that was gross. I don't think we can do anything right here. I don't think I rage. Um. Can that shakes enough damage? I think we can. Oh, we die for it, Rip. We got Athena ult. That's not too bad. We stalled their push quite a bit, so I think that's probably okay. Damn, I got so chunked there, man. Kineshul's kind of OP. He's building basically full tank, pretty normal build. And he does a third of my HP with two ticks of ult. <laughs> I don't think that's okay. <laughs> I really don't think that's okay. That's so disgusting. It's one thing if it's a mural and I just sit in it like a bot and it fully charges. But it's really not hard to land at least a tick of Ganeshul. Damn, we'll see how it plays out, man. I feel like next fight is probably going to decide it. We're going to all spawn. We're probably going to fight over FG. And then whoever manages to win it is probably going to wipe really hard. And then whoever wipes just gets to end, I think. It's so late in the game, it's really easy to end at this point. It's kind of ridiculous that nobody's ended yet. Although, obviously, like 15 or 15 plus minutes ago, I think we were like 10 HP from ending. And we actually have beads. We definitely, uh, we should have lived last fight if we had beads, so we'll see what happens. We don't have blink, though, which is kind of rough. Oh, boys! Oh my god, finisher, please. You, uh, you 
gonna start getting kills too or amazing. good stuff boys we're gonna try and build rage where we can I think we just can start hitting FG I think the Athena pick is huge I think Athena is easily one of the most important players okay hopefully we can turn It's okay if they get us even. But they did not get it. Let's go, baby. This will do it. This will 100% do it. Slant. I mean, I don't know. They could God Clutch 2v5? I kind of doubt it. Run it down. Oh my god, we hit. Okay. Okay. You don't see 690 autos on Phoenix very often. Go hard, boys. Go hard. Let's go. <laughs> what a game, man. Oh, my God. It got scary. We were so squishy with that build. We actually got we actually got punished towards the end. But, yeah, that last fight, they got a good pick on their own. We got a big pick right away on Morgan after that. And we actually get to finish it off. That was so hard, man. The biggest thing that game was just actives. Whenever we had blink and beads, I think literally any time we had both, we got a farm in fights. But being down one or the other made it way harder. We did 55k. Oh my god. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story. In the search for fame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down